I'd like to show you the masking features that are available to be done on primitive objects native to ZBrush. Again, I have my tool palette docked over on the right hand side. I'm going to click on the tool icon so I can open this up. And this time I'm going to choose the Ring 3D. So I'll click on that, click and drag into the center of my canvas, and then hit the edit button so I could start working with this. Now you'll notice over in the tool palette down near the bottom we have this masking feature. If I click on that it's going to open up a few more options. The first thing I'm going to do is click mask all. That's going to cover this ring entirely with a mask. You'll also notice down here at the bottom that you have an option that says select and an option that says skip. This is going to say how many rows I want to select and how many rows I want to skip. Let's make this a little bit more obvious by actually pushing this button, RWO, which stands for rows. And when I do that, it's going to select eight rows and then skip none. So it's selecting eight rows, skipping none, and then selecting eight more rows as far as what it's going to unmask or mask. So let's clear that. Hit the button clear. Again, we'll mask all. This time I'm going to take my selection down a bit. Let's take it down to four and let's take our skip up to three. Again, I'm going to hit rows. Now you can see that it's selected four rows, skipped three, and selected four more. So what good does this masking do? Well, above our masking option inside our tool palette, we have a deformations option. So I'm going to click on that and open that up. And there's a lot of different deformations that we can do on this 3D object. The one I like to work with most is inflate. So down here close to the bottom we have an inflate option. If I scroll this slider up a little bit, you'll notice that the pieces of this ring that aren't masked start to inflate. The pieces that are masked will stay exactly where they are. So let's scroll back down to masking. I'll hit clear to clear my mask. And again I'm going to click mask all. This time, instead of hitting RWO for rows, I'm going to push the button right next to it, COL, for columns. Again, this columns button paid attention to the select and skip options I selected below. Select four rows, and then skip three. And what I mean by rows, if I turn on my frame here, are rows of polygons. I'm going to turn frame off. So again, in my deformations menu, I'll click inflate. I'll just inflate that in a positive value. Scroll back down to masking and at this point I'm going to hit clear. So you can see you can make very interesting objects or very interesting tools to start off with. Now that I'm done changing this by masking and deforming it, I'll scroll all the way to the top of my tool palette and then again click make poly mesh 3D. Now I can hit Control D to divide if I want and start sculpting however I feel like. 